For those of you who've been following along with this project, we rebuilt the differentials, uh, the front and rear, and I just finished doing the proper gear break-in, uh, which was supposed to be about a thousand kilometers from, from light to medium style driving, being like the first time you take it out, you drive it for about 15, 20 miles or like 30 kilometers, and then you park it and let it completely cool before you drive it again. Did all that bullshit. Now let's remove the diff covers and examine the gears and see what kind of wear pattern I'm going and make sure there's nothing happening that's not supposed to be. So let's get to work. All right, what's nice about these is that we got a drain. All right, we got her out. All right, just examining the gears. I don't really have a drive pattern on yet because there's been no driving around four wheel drive during break in. The coast pattern looks good. I examined the lock on the bolts here. They're still good or on the back side. All those nuts are still in place. No chips on the gears or anything. So everything's looking good. So we're gonna put the new gasket in and put her back together. And I got a lube blocker gasket. It's a reusable one that Chris Fusco on many of my threads had posted to try out and use. I already got one installed in the rear. I don't have one in the front because I didn't have it by the time I assembled it. But we're going to stick it in now. All right, here's the oil here amongst a bunch of other shit. Don't be surprised to find a lot of metal filings in it during your braking because that's just normal. All right, I'm just pumping in some 75-110 in the front. I'm gonna use 75-110 in the rear. It's a little heavier oil than I used for the break-in, so we're just gonna fill it up so it starts coming out, and then she's full. All right, so let's Alright, looking at the back of the Dana 35, you can see the drive pattern that's on the gear is good, it's centered, and you can see on the coast it's good. No chips out of the teeth. Look at the pinion in behind there. It's looking good as well. So far so good, no carnage is going to happen yet, so let's seal this sucker back up. All right, I'm gonna end my video on that, on doing the inspection of the differential gears. Everything seems to be looking good. Everything seems to be looking in order. No obvious damage to the gears from doing the break-in. No chunks, no bits and pieces, none of that bullshit. Uh, no noise from the differentials, which is a big thing. So, so far, so good. The moment of truth will be when I go out on my trip. If I blow differential my way out there, then shit is gonna get fucking real. I just have to set the Jeep on fire and fucking go home. Anyways, I'm going to leave my video at this. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, let's drink some fucking beer and get this project done.